Welcome to another episode of New to Me. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and today we are taking a look at the Easy Lock 38 inch deep parabolic soft box. This is an umbrella box. This will cost you about $85 on Adorama or Amazon. Right now, though, as of, at the timing uh, at the time of recording this video, it is only $65 uh, being sold on Amazon, actually by Adorama. So there you go. But let's just jump into it. First off, you get this fantastic, very nice padded case. Now, I did buy this to replace the soft boxes that came with my Godox. Uh, unfortunately, this thing is massive and is not going to fit in the case, but I will just throw this in the back of my car because it is super lightweight. But the case is fantastic. Like I said, very well made. It does have this strap, which is meh. Uh, and this, of course, is the Glow brand, the Adorama brand. Let's go ahead and tear into this thing. It's got a nice zipper top here. And the first thing you're going to get is some instructions and the concave photo plate thingy here. I don't really know what these are for because I'm not a photographer. And inside you are going to get diffusion. You get an inner diffusion and an outer diffusion. Now, the inner diffusion you'll see has snaps and that's because the inside of this it does not have Velcro to hold the inner diffusion like most soft boxes. It actually has elastic, very strong elastic, and these nice snaps that I think are going to last uh, for a long time. Velcro usually lasts forever, but uh, you you'll see when I put it together. And then you have the outer diffusion with this very thin uh, layer of Velcro around it. And that is because not only can you have an outer diffusion on this thing, but it does come, and the reason I bought this, for a full grid. This is going to be fantastic for shaping your light. And let's go ahead and open this thing up. And of course you get the softbox itself. And as you can see, this is already put together. You've got a little zipper here. I wouldn't touch the zipper. Uh, I did. And now when I close this thing, it kind of like slips off. So keep the zipper zipped. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to unzip it when you open and close this thing. I just keep it zipped. And it's got this very nice strap that is actually attached to keep the whole thing together. And there is no messing around with poles or trying to, you know, get the soft box. You know, not your usual soft box setup. Okay, now, speaking of setup, let me show you how this, how the easiest way to open this thing up. And we are using the Godox SL60 watt. And what you want to do is you want to adjust your Bowens mount accordingly. And you want to line it up. And you're going to just carefully drop this over, give it a little twist, grab it back here, and you're good to go. And we are using the Godox SL60 watt. And what you want to do is you want to adjust your Bowens mount accordingly. And you want to line it up. And you're going to just carefully drop this over, give it a little twist, grab it back here, and you're good to go. Okay, now for this setup, you will need a C-stand, which I have behind me, and it is sandbagged down. And all you have to do, pop this on top, tighten it up, and you're good to go. And here we have the soft box. Like I said, you have the snaps in here. It's looking really nice. Now, let's go ahead and put on the inner diffusion outer diffusion, and the grid. Now one thing to putting on the inner diffusion is you want to make sure that the flat, very smooth side is facing out and your snaps are actually facing in. And watch how easy, it is very easy to do this. Start at the top and work your way around. I like to do a couple up top, like three or four of them. We'll do three and then we want to go to the other side here and do that and then just continue around making sure that you're not skipping any steps here, any snaps here. And there we go. It is all set up. Now we're going to take the diffusion and we're going to pop the diffusion on. And one thing I like is there are little like bumps here where the uh, poles go into these little pockets. And if you look on the fabric, some of the fabric is actually kind of bent in that shape. So that'll help you guide it along. So we'll just start at the top here. And you want to make sure, and as you can see, the Velcro here is thin. You want to make sure you're at the back of the Velcro strip here. And just keep it along the back so that you have enough room in front for the grid. And there you go. You are ready for the grid. And now the grid is much thicker. And again, the grid does have some grooves on like the fold lines. You do want to make sure that your grid is 
going to go the right way. You don't want it to, um, one thing you want to avoid is your grid being crooked, uh, unless you're going for that, but we'll just find, there's a little tag here. Um, so we'll start at the tag right up here. And then you're just gonna go around and put on the grid here super fast. Take the strap, you can Velcro it to itself so it's out of the way, and you are good to go. Now, let's go ahead and set this thing up, turn on the Godox, and I will show you how this thing looks. Okay, so here we are, the camera is at 3800 Kelvin, the Godox is 100%, we've got the inner, outer, and grid all on, and this is looking fantastic. The light is about seven feet away, six, seven feet, and that's because this is a very small studio space and it would be in frame. But as you can see, this is creating amazing light. It's even lighting up the background very nicely. It's really compacting the light. It's not overspilling. Not only that, but for a YouTube setup, you could take simply a little, diff uh, little panel, little thing like this, and you can bounce the light in your face like so off camera add a hair, little hair light and an RGB in the background, and you are good to go for all things YouTube, interview. This is a fantastic setup. Now let's go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like without the grid on it. Okay, so here we are. We are again at 3800 Kelvin. We have the inner and outer diffusion on, and we are at 60% on the Godox, and this looks fantastic. It is very much so giving me a very nice soft light source. Now, one thing that I do want to mention, I do have a 50 inch monitor right there so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so that's creating a little bit of light as well. But this thing is fantastic. Also, you'll notice now that the grid is off, it is lighting up the background a whole lot more. It's throwing out a bigger light source. And that's really what this is for, is creating a bigger, softer light source. And it does that very well. Now. Let's take a look at it without the outer diffusion on. Here we are with just the outer diffusion on. Now, I would probably never use this like this um, unless I wanted to get weird and effecty, uh, unless I wanted to kind of like get really close to it and have like around me surrounded by light, but then be really diffused in the center. Uh, and the light's about at 15% right here. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and pull off the inner diffusion. I'll show you how bright this thing gets. I'm gonna take the Godox down to about 10% uh, because this thing is just going to flood the room with light. It's gonna hit the silver with nothing in front of it and it's gonna get super bright. So here we are, we're at 10%. There is nothing blocking this. It is just hitting the silver and spreading everywhere. And as you can see, this creates a crazy amount of light. I would probably, if I wanted to fill a room from outside, I would stick this in a window and push it against a window so no light leaks in and this thing will just flood the room. Let me go ahead and jack this up. So you can see, <laughs> let's go to 100 because it's probably gonna blind me. But as you can see, stupid, crazy, it makes the light so much brighter and bigger. Let's go ahead and look at this with just the outer diffusion on it. Okay, so here we are with the outer diffusion. That's all that we're using. We're at 60% now. And as you can see, this is a very nice soft light from seven feet away and we're at 3800 Kelvin on the camera, and this is just working really, really well. Now, one thing I do wish is that the, in, the outer diffusion actually was wider and clipped on the outside. I wish it was like Velcro on the outside because trying to get that in and then trying to get the layer of the uh, egg crate in, that is a little bit difficult. You, is, you do have to make sure that everything is lined up right inside. It's not difficult. It's just kind of a preference of mine, but this works really well, it is fantastic. And let's go now to my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on this are, this thing is fantastic from the build quality, to the grid, to the double diffusion, to how simple it is to use for $85, it is fantastic. Get it on sale if you can, it's even better, but this is so well made. Now you could get one made by newer, but it isn't as good, it isn't as well made, I've seen them. Um, and some of them don't come with the grid. This one comes with the grid, which I really love. Now, one thing, like I said, it does have the snaps and the elastic to hold the inner diffusion. And while cheaper brands have Velcro, so I'm not sure which is gonna hold up, this seems to be very well made and of good quality, so I think it's gonna be okay, um, but only time will tell. And really, that is kind of my only gripe with this thing, that and the fact that the zipper kind of gets loose and doesn't really, uh, it unzips a little bit when you open it and close it. But 
Other than that, this thing is fantastic. It works well. It is well worth this. Now, who is this for? If you are a documentary filmmaker uh, or doing interviews, this thing is fantastic. If you're a YouTuber, you could do a very nice setup with just the diffusion here, a pop-up grid, like we said, RGB, hair light, you're good to go. And this is very affordable and I highly recommend it. One thing I do wanna to say too is I bought this with my own money. It's something that I wanted. Uh, it is an Adorama brand, but the Adorama brand is usually pretty darn good. I love this thing and I am going to be using it a whole lot. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop them in the notes below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash the bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.